I'm Jun Kaneko. I'm an artist. When I was young, which means about uh, 16 years old, I started to doubt about the educational system in Japan. It's a pretty well-organized system, but uh, what I couldn't understand is they demand everybody to do the same thing, and then they expect the same answer from every student. But in reality, everybody is different. Their lifestyle, family, background, everything is different. And then I started to not to like the going to school too much, skipping school. So I started to do drawings. That is probably the earliest attempt of being an artist, which even though I wasn't aware of it. That's how I started to get into art. You know, we met in West Coast. Again, pure accident. I was driving by and Piochak School, going to Canada, asked my friend, driving together, hey, let's go say hi to Dale. Jifuri. So we went to Pyochak and she was taking classes. That's how I met her. But she was doing something really interesting already in Omaha. She was inviting artists, putting them in the industrial situation to create their piece. So it's a challenge of scale, environment, and influence to the artist. She was doing that kind of program, so I was invited and I came, had a little better chance of knowing Omaha as a city. I don't like too much noise. I want to focus on my, what I'm doing, and then lots of space avail available, and very reasonable price, and not too many people come by to Omaha. That was great. Yeah, I was putting artists to work at industrial sites. Uh, mostly, when June came, we were working at the uh, Omaha Brickworks, which had giant beehive kilns. So he uh, said to me, well, if I had a whole beehive kiln, should I do, you know, 100,000 cups, or should I do some big sculpture? <laughs> so he obviously picked the big sculpture. Basically, I decided to come back to Omaha because of the same reasons maybe June decided to be here too. There was a lot of availability of buildings. Obviously I had you know, a couple generations of family here, so, and you knew people. And you kind of wanted to start something, so I started a more of a, a kind of a cooperative thing of studios. We had 10 or 15 studios. I think they were 50 bucks a month, and if you didn't have the 50 bucks a month, you could sit in the gallery. <laughs> so, it was an interesting environment, and the building was only uh, 12,000 square feet. I always feel like I'm a beginner, even now. So, when I make a mistake, that's a good chance to learn. My biggest worry is to run out this desire of making pieces. If I do that, that's it. I mean, I don't care what piece I'm making, as long as I have a desire to make it and then continue making it, I, that's good enough for me. I never felt I'm making a piece for anybody, just myself. So that was the primary reason. I mean, just an intuitive feeling makes me to do it. And then once you develop your strong desire, it's going to be a lifetime challenge. And then as long as you do it long enough, I mean, you can't help it, you get better. The challenge is, can you keep on doing it for 50, 60 years without getting bored? Doing artwork is not work. It's not hard for me. It's like a necessity. It's a heartbeat. Without that, I'll be dead. So, but I, I don't really try to do it hard or 
anything, but it, it just happens. So I think uh, I'm pretty lucky for that reason.